on my back to learning GIMP. This time I'm going to show you how to install custom brushes, but I'm also going to answer a question someone had in the comment section. If you just want to know how to install the brushes, skip ahead, so I'm going to create a timestamp. But if you're interested, here's the problem. So the end result should be kind of like a field where there's lots of grass. And on top, he wanted to position an object, for example, a shoe. I've just picked this as an example. So we have that on two different layers and I've cut the shoe out. You can, for example, use remove BG. It's a free option. Upload the image of the object, in my case, the shoe, whatever you've got. And then it's going to automatically cut that out. If you don't want to sign in, you can download it 500 times 500. But if you sign in, you can totally for free download 3000 times 3000. And that should be enough for all projects. So check that out, remove BG. I'm going to link to it in the description. By the way, I've used these two images right here. This is the original shoe image with the background. And here's the field of grass. I'm going to link to both as well. So we've got that imported into GIMP. You need to rotate and scale the shoe depending on where you want it to be, reposition it. Once you've got what you want, the important step is to add a layer mask. So you right click on the shoe layer, then go to add layer mask, make it white for full opacity. And then it's important to select the layer mask here in the layers menu. So don't select the layer, the layer mask should be active. And once that is done, we can paint on it using the paintbrush. Tear, P is the short key for it. And you want to use a grass brush. I've got them installed. And you may need the brushes menu right here if you can't see it. Windows, Dockable Dialogs, Brushes right here. And I've gotten down with the size a little bit. Let me make that an ellipse first. You can see what happens. So you can now left click drag with a black color and then blend the grass, the image below through. I'll press Ctrl Z here, select the grass. It's way too big. But you can see how that works. Then press Ctrl Z and I size it down. And now you have to go over this step by step. Make sure black is the foreground color right here. And this is how you can bring the grass back. And that was the question in the comment section. Now, if you don't have these brushes, so these grass brushes, you have to install them. To do that, just find brushes. I've found free ones on DeviantArt, for example. I'm going to link to that as well. For DeviantArt, you have to be signed in. But once you are, you can download this. And lots of the stuff on here free to use. Once that is downloaded, it should be a zip folder. So you have to extract that first. Once you've got it extracted, open it. Click on the brushes folder. And there should be these GBR files installed. I've already installed the last four. Let me install the first three. So I select them and I press Ctrl C or right click copy. Then go back to GIMP and go to edit preferences. And here you need to scroll down to find your folders. Should be a drop down, open it by clicking on the plus sign. And here you need to go to brushes. And then there are two options. Find the one that's writable, which is your personal brushes folder. And then click on this option at the top right. This opens your directory. So where GIMP is installed, open the brushes folder and then control V or right click paste. So this paste the three brushes in my case that I've copied prior. And now let me close this. We'll go back to the brushes menu right here. Windows talk about dialog brushes. And then refresh it by using this icon. Now you can see all of the seven brushes are visible and I can select them here and then directly use them. So this should solve your problem. Let me know if it doesn't in the comment section below. In any case, this is how you can install custom brushes in GIMP.
hope this video was helpful thank you for watching and i'll see you next time